Hey and welcome to the Ruby Tuesday, my name is Ruben and this is my movie review for Amazon's original film Johori. I hope I pronounced that right. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favourite horror Indian film? Um, this is not an area that I've seen many films of, so I would love your kind of comments down below giving me some examples of really good ones. Uh, let's jump in. Eight month pregnant Sachki must save herself and her unborn child from the evil within society and from fear that lies in the paranormal world. I had high hopes for this uh, movie, I saw the trailer and I thought it looked really creepy it had some great cinematography in the trailer and I thought yeah okay let's do this I do have to say from the outset this film outstays its welcome it's two and a half hours long and it feels like it just goes on and on it also does those horror cliches that when used right can make the film really scary but when used wrong can also make you just hate the fact that they're using it in a horror. For example, jump scares. When they're using jump scares and nothing actually scary is happening, they just use a tone or a loud sound to go uh, that just makes you jump for no reason. Nothing's actually progressing on the story. That happens a number of times in the film. And then we get the score of this movie, which is throughout the movie making the film seem like it's much scarier than it actually is. Very loud tone, creepy sounds, sounds that you will see in films like us or get out all very good sound effects and good score when used well but here it just feels out of place because a lot of the time when they're using it there is no need for it so they're trying to force you to feel something that you're not necessarily gonna gonna feel because you feel forced into it at the daytime shots, if they had used no sound, it probably would have been creepier. The aesthetics of the surrounding uh, where they shot it in is very scary itself. Giant cornfields surround this house. The IMDb synopsis isn't great. They're trying to stay away from people that are after them. And so they end up staying at this weird house that has a herit heritage to it. And as the story unfolds, you start understanding how dark the story actually is. It's the most interesting thing about the film, the actual story about what's going on in this place and the, and the history of it is interesting and then you have the aesthetics of it the cinematography it all looks well all looks good um, it's very scary in nature just by looking at what you see imagine uh, children of the corn in amongst a, a haunting kind of house story it's that amalgamation and that screams to me great horror but because it's dragged out so long and the story really stretches out each nuance bit, you feel like there's going to be some like big twist, right? And there are a couple, but you'd already have guessed those twists coming at you halfway through the film. So by the time they reveal it, you're like, okay, yeah, I, I got that. I got that. The acting is good with the script that they've been given, but there's a lot and there's a lot of ground that is recovered over and over. It just feels like you got there way before the, the director is actually getting you to understand it. Hey, this is what's happening in the story right now. It's like, no, 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 no. I got that half an hour ago. And then you have the... <sighs> the way they make you feel scared in amongst the composition of the color palette of the cinematography that you're like yeah that's pretty cool and the cornfields they occasionally try and make you feel scared with that sound effect with that score turning a corner and it's the the combination of wrong, I'm wrong, that you're like what why why this is, this is pointless. I really feel like had they had no score, the film would have been scarier. It just goes to show when your editing is forcing your, your audience to feel a certain way, that's not necessarily a good thing. Sometimes less is more. And in this, it feels like less would have been much better. Hour and a half film, much less forced in the score. I think you would have had a much tighter, scarier film. Because there is definitely a story there to watch. The, st the story itself is scary. And also the theme behind it, there's this message at the end about women and uh, fetal pregnancies or fetal births or how much of this is still going on in India. And it's a weird message to have within this horror film. I could imagine if it was a drama film or a true story, then the, the, the message that they're going for at the end of the film would have caught some impact. But now it just feels like they're trying to put it on there to give you some impact just in case you didn't like the film, but it's meant to mean something more at the end. It's one of the most disappointing horrors I've seen because I was really looking forward to it. I was really hoping it was going to do something different, something to do with culture and law, old history, and it kind of does have that, but it just doesn't feel like it's being executed well.
So I'm going to give this one and a half Nicolas Cages out of five. I like the cinematography, I like the acting, but everything else for me just felt off. Let me know your comments below. Did you enjoy this? Maybe you loved it and thought it was everything. Maybe I'm missing it because it's more leaning on the culture, because even the subtitles kind of lean into the suggestion that maybe this isn't for English speakers, because the subtitles they have are the CC ones, the, the descriptive audio ones, and that's all that Amazon have for us. So it does suggest this is maybe for Indian culture, and I'm missing some subtle nuances about what actually things mean and that's fine if that's the case then maybe they shouldn't have put it for worldwide audiences but at the same time I feel like I love worldwide cinema and I'm always leaning into that more than my general stuff that I watch in the UK or the US and so I was disappointed with this. leave me your thoughts down below thanks so much for watching but most of all until next time remember live long on Tuesday